So natokinase is one of the very few supplements that's been shown to decrease the buildup of arterial plaque. But beyond that, it may actually decrease the size of the plaque itself. And there was a study where they measured the uh, carotid intima media thickness as well as the plaque size. And they saw that the participants that took a very high dose of this, and this is, by, this is not a recommendation to take this, you should of course discuss this with your treating physician before starting this, but the group that used 10,800 units of natokinase had a 60 to 90 percent reduction, which is really fantastic if you think about it, because until recently we thought that once you have plaque, plaque is stable, it might calcify, which might make it actually more stable, um, but you know it doesn't go away. But it, there might be actually some supplements that can help reverse it. And this is controversial. A lot of cardiologists will tell you that it cannot be done. Again, this one study pointed out that it's possible and they had a pretty profound response. However, again, this was at a fairly high dose. Now, 10,800 units got them this response of 60 to 90%, whereas a control group of 3,600 units had no response. And this is something that we should learn from as well. When we do studies on supplements, it has to be at the right dose and for the right amount of time. Because you can always do a study on a supplement that's, <laughs> that's set up to fail. And if you don't use a sufficient dose, if you don't use you know, um, a right uh, time frame to do it, or you don't have the right population of people that you're testing it on, then you might not have the result that you're actually looking for. So there are uh, variations of how studies are set up. Now, I'm not saying this is the best study in the world, but at least it's a good starting point to evaluate this. Because if we can really have an impact on our buildup of plaque, and throughout our lifetimes, most of us will build up a significant amount of plaque in our arteries. We will have arterial hardening. And these are all things that uh, really increase our risk for heart disease and death. And that's one of the number one killers in the United States. So if we can have a supplement and, of course, lifestyle changes that help us decrease this plaque or at least stop the progression, that's fantastic in my opinion. Again, more studies are probably needed here. And the, the doses are quite high. So again, not a recommendation to take this, but I thought this was very good data to see that this might be possible. Um, natokinase, of course, there's natto, which is this uh, fermented soybean stuff. I've never eaten this, to be fair. It looks disgusting. Uh, I've never tried it, though. Um, but I'd much rather probably take the supplement because it's much easier to take. Um, and this is something in, in the Japanese culture, I think it's more common. People know what this is. Um, I just came across this recently as I did a lot of uh, research to look into what contributes to atherosclerosis. So again, not a recommendation, but I think it's great data. And going forward, if we can take control of our cardiovascular health, I think that's a step in the right direction.